Hey guys, what is up? And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the look and feel of iOS 11 on any Android phone. Now, whether or not you're doing this to simply trick your friends, or maybe you just prefer the look of iOS altogether, whatever your reason is, in this video, I'm going to be showing you from start to finish how to get everything from the new iOS 11 control center all the way to the notification center and more. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. So jumping straight into it, the very first thing you want to do is start by enabling unknown sources. So to do this, it's very simple. Just go into settings and tap on security. You may have to scroll down a bit to find it, but there should be an option for security. Tap on that. And once you scroll down, you should see unknown sources. Go ahead and enable that. So now that we've done that, you want to start by setting an iOS 11 wallpaper. And to do this, what you want to do is go into Google and simply search for iOS 11 wallpaper. Once you've done that, tap on images and select this one right here. Give it a few seconds to load up the full resolution image. If you download it too soon, then you're going to be stuck with a lower resolution. It's just not going to look very good, so give it a few seconds. Once that's loaded, tap and hold on the image, tap download image, and once it's done downloading, you can exit to your home screen and set it as your wallpaper. Now, depending on your phone, it might be a little bit different, but for me, all I have to do is tap and hold on the home screen, select wallpapers, select my photos and select the iOS wallpaper we just downloaded. Once you've done that, you can simply tap set wallpaper and now that's the first step and we're basically done with that. So the next step is to start by downloading the launcher. Now to do that, what you wanna do is open up Google and start by searching for iLauncher APK. Tap search and you should see an option that says APK here. Now you wanna download it from there and it should be version 3.1.4, tap on that. Scroll down until you see version 3.1.4 and there should be a list of downloads. Download this version right here. Once you tap on that, tap start download and you may get a pop-up asking you to basically confirm that you're a person. Just tap download. Like I said, you're probably going to get one of these. So just go ahead and do whatever it asks you to do. Tap verify and then you should be able to download it. As you can see, it asked me if I want to keep the file. Now it's going to ask you this because it is an APK file. So pretty much any APK you download, it will say that it can harm your device. However, I can assure you it's completely safe. I've used this on multiple devices. And even if you download an APK from a safe source, it's still going to ask you that. So go ahead, tap OK. Once you've done that, exit to your home screen and go into your downloads and you should see it right here. Tap on that and tap install. Once it's done, tap open. And as you guys can see, here is our launcher. Now, we do need to set a few settings to get this to look more like a true iOS device. So go into preferences, tap on personalization and tap enable fifth row. Now for some phones, this may not work. However, for most phones, I would recommend you enable that. It's just gonna make it look a lot more normal. And once you've done that, tap the home button. And as you can see, it's asking me if I would like to use my eye launcher as home, tap always. And that way, whenever you hit your home button, it'll always take you back to eye launcher. Now next step is to get that familiar status bar in notification center. So to do that, go back into Chrome and search for iNoti APK. You should see an option for APK here. Go ahead and tap on that. Scroll down until you see this version right here, 1.0.6.1, tap on that. And like we did before, tap start download. Do whatever it asks you to do so you can download it. And once you've done that, hit verify. Tap OK. And once it's done, go back into your downloads and you should be able to open it up like we did before. Tap install and just like that, you should be good to go. So once you've done that, hit open and tap enable iNoti. You can also enable battery percentage if that's something you want. And as you guys can see, we now have that familiar notification center. So this pretty much comes with everything the iOS version has. You've got your notifications over here and you will need to enable it so that it can actually show your notifications. So tap turn it on now, tap iNoti, and go ahead and enable that. And once you've done that, as you guys can see, we now have the notification center. And what's so cool about this is that it's super fluid. As you guys can see, there's literally no lag whatsoever. And even on older devices, it's very fluid and it just works extremely well. 
So next step is to get a few apps from the Play Store. Start by downloading the iOS 11 Control Center, which is called Control Center OS 11. You should see that it's the first option right here. Tap on that and it should look like this. Tap install and go ahead and download that. Once that's done, go ahead and open that up. And here you can see we have a few examples of what you can expect with this app. It actually works very well. If you look at the ratings of this app, it's almost a perfect five stars. So, I mean, it works very well. There's really nothing to complain about here, but you do need to set it up. So start by going to position and make sure that's set to bottom. Once you've done that, Set the color as far as it'll go right, that way it's transparent, and set the size as small as it'll go left. So once you've done that, if we go back, you can see if we try to swipe up on it from here, it will request permission, tap OK, and tap Allow Modify System Settings. Once you've done that, as you guys can see, it will now work perfectly fine, and just first impressions of this when using it, I mean, it's very well optimized, it works very well, even on older devices like this, it does work surprisingly well. As you can see, it's got these nice animations, and just the whole thing's very fluid. If you tap and hold on it, it basically functions as a 3D touch would on an iPhone. You can get more control over one specific setting, so for example, if I tap and hold on this, you can see I can change the brightness very easily, just like that, and we can do the same thing with volume. Overall, just a great app. And there's still one last app we need to download, so go back into the Play Store, and this time you're gonna search for Emoji Keyboard 7. Tap Install, it should be the first option right here. It's got over 5 million downloads, so it's a pretty popular app. But from my experience, I found it works pretty well. Once it's done, again, tap Open, tap Activate Me, and tap Get Started. Tap Enable in Settings and make sure it's enabled. Tap OK. And switch input methods. Tap Emoji Keyboard 7 and tap Finished. So now that we've activated it, what we need to do is we actually need to set the actual iOS theme because right after you set it up, it's not going to automatically do that. You're going to be stuck with, it's like a uh, darker themed keyboard. But the one we want is we want this white flat 7 theme. So go ahead and tap on that and you want to install this theme. So tap install like any app on the Play Store, tap accept and wait for that to download. Once that's done, again, tap open. And once you've done that, you want to wait for it to load. If any ads pop up, tap no or close out of them. And once you're here, you can exit to your home screen, go back to Emoji Keyboard 7, and now that we've actually downloaded the white flat 7 theme, you should be able to tap on it and enable it. And by tapping on it, it should automatically enable. And now if you exit to your home screen, as you can see, if we open up Google or Chrome or whatever and open it up, as you can see, we now have that familiar looking iOS theme keyboard. So now that we've gotten everything set up, I'd like to take a second to show you guys some of the cool features that come with all of the apps we've installed on here. First off being the launcher, what you can actually do is tap and hold on an app and tap on it and you can actually change a few different things about it. So you can change the app icon because some of the apps that come with the launcher aren't actually iOS themed like the camera and videos app. So what you can do is you can download those icons manually and then actually change them by setting it through there. But we also have a few other things. We can change the title of an app. We can also set an app as default. So for example, say we download a different dialer app or camera app, we can actually set that as default instead. You can also hide an app, which is really cool because as you all know, iOS doesn't come with an app drawer, so you can hide apps instead so they're not taking up space on your home screen. And as you can see, if we go into preferences and tap on app management, restore hidden apps, it'll show all of our hidden apps in here. And if we tap on it, it'll send it back to the home screen. Now, one thing that I think turned out really well is the control center. As you guys can see, it looks almost identical to the iOS 11 version. In fact, almost everything on here is exactly like the iOS 11 version. Here you have the toggles for airplane mode and a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And if you tap on it, you can see there's a very subtle animation, but it adds a nice effect to it. As I said earlier, if you tap on some of the settings, you can get more um, control over them. You also have screen timeout, as well as the ability to launch specific apps. 
But that's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions at all, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. But that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.